Hey everybody, Jay Krista, say I do forever, coming at you on Sunday, not Saturday. <laughs> yeah, good morning, or we're getting closer to afternoon. I think it's, what is it, like 10.30, almost 11? We're just late on our days. We're late in the morning. It's all good. It's because okay. <laughs> we were out late partying last night. I don't know if you'd call it partying. I think we made it till 9 o'clock at night. I we mean, come on. We went to the nativity we went on a double date. It was fun with our friends, Brian and Lynn. We, uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. They had, uh, which I've never seen it here um, in Idaho, and that was really, really cool. Uh, a, I think it was a doctor um, that took his entire property, and I think his church group and stuff put on kind of like a Bethlehem walk or uh, a nativity Mm -hmm. uh, it was just, it was acres and acres of, um, of, like, I don't know little... about acres and acres, but it was probably about an acre. But I think it, so. it, it I think it wound... was a little bit bigger. It was cold, and it was a long way to walk. It was extremely cold, <laughs> and thank God that they had fire pits or burn barrels um, yeah. around there so you could warm yourself up as you were walking, because it was, like, 26 degrees outside while we were doing this. Yeah. But... It was it fun. It still was, was fun. They had Roman soldiers. On um, horses. On and horses. On, and standing. And standing around. And what we were trying to figure out is they all were like 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, these guys wore big. They yeah. were tall. They we were, were kind of like, scary. We were like, <laughs> where did they find all these big guys to, you know, be these Roman soldiers? So it was pretty cool. Yeah. You just kind of were intimidated. You'd look up, look up and wow. <laughs> yeah. You know? And then they had all the booths, like, uh, well... That like, they would sell stuff. Yeah, like you were walking through the town and, and yeah. different vendors or um, they wouldn't call it market, little market. A little marketplace. Like selling chickens and selling Chicken um, feet. pottery. Chicken gizzards. Yeah, but not really selling it. No, but. they were just <laughs> pretending. Yes. But it was it was fun. Yeah, and there were a lot of animals. Yeah, they I, had, uh, um, not that they're was alpacas back in the day well at least not in that area but they had alpacas they had uh, goats they had sheep some funny little chickens, short roosters. sheep uh different kinds that i've never seen before yeah, it was some, cool with chubby little legs and yeah, giant like goats those mini, goats were like mini pygmy goats and <laughs> it was just cool it was a cool mm -hmm. deal we walked through there and then we went to uh, a restaurant in uh had you know cocoa and, and some pie and it was uh yeah it was a relaxing evening it was actually really good it was really fun it was a good end to our crazy nice. day because earlier that day we moved our oh, son yeah. and that was a, a busy day <laughs> yeah we got him out of his apartment that was a ripoff mm -hmm. that uh that was super high as far as the rent goes and we found him a tiny house mm -hmm. i'm noticing you're half cut a off a tiny here. house you had half a face. That's okay. <laughs> uh, it was a tiny house, and mm -hmm. it was, uh, you know, a lot more inexpensive for him to mm -hmm. rent. So that was a plus for him. And it was back in the town where we used to live. Mm -hmm. So he's all excited. So it's a win-win for him. That was a miracle of a week. God was, was incredibly cool. good this week to us. Yep. You know, we needed to find him uh, something that was less expensive and we had searched everywhere to buy a house and those were astronomical and his payments a month would be way even more than uh, he was renting for even though his rent was really really high yep. and then we found this amazing little tiny house that was brand new and being rented yep. and he's saving a couple hundred dollars a month and in just a great little cute little community yeah it's like brand new and it's a lot cheaper than what he was paying. So, I mean, it's mm. it was a win-win. So, yeah. it was good. So, a good, crazy week. How was your week, guys? Grab a cup of coffee. Join us. Yeah. Um, what, what does your Christmas week or the two weeks before Christmas um, look like? Um, ours is usually a little more boring than this uh, because our children are all grown and a couple of them have moved away. 
Um, so usually it's pretty quiet, um, and I think with a move thrown in there <laughs> and everything. Yeah, it was a pretty busy day yesterday, last um, couple days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last couple days have been pretty busy, but it's it's been good, though. I mean, it's not like I'm working right now. <laughs> so tell me why we didn't do Friday's video. <laughs> we... <laughs> We haven't figured so, out how to do it yet. <laughs> Friday's video would have been about loving, and we both about are waffles like, and spaghetti in the bedroom. Yeah, and uh, you know I, we haven't figured out how to make that video. I'm yet. thinking we're not going to do that video. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking we, as a marriage channel, I mean, you know, um, comment below. As a marriage channel, we got to cover some of those hard parts no we don't but i'm i'm one that doesn't talk about that kind of stuff well you're an introvert and i don't <laughs> see you talking about that stuff so we may just just uh Skim over it. bunny hop right over that one and go on to the next chapter yeah. it also seemed a little weird uh to discuss you know that deep of a subject um right around christmas i don't know we had so much going on and just <laughs> discussing that topic anyway and uh, we're weird, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so many marriage channels can can conquer it and take. Well, they don't feel it like on. it's a problem, but mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll probably go to the next chapter. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as work, I've been looking into um, a career, um, doing something completely different than what I'm used to. So. Um, it's taking some studying online and testing and stuff like that. So um, it looks like that's the direction I'll go. Um, it looks like it would be a fun job. I've always wanted to work in an area that I would enjoy. Um, over the last, what, 30, 35 years that I've actually worked at different jobs, I've held those jobs down for many years you know, the last two or three jobs that I've had. But That'd I really like would like to <laughs> um, work somewhere doing something that I enjoy. So, and I found something that I think I'll enjoy. But I, think he would I have really... to do the testing first to see if I qualify. Mm -hmm. If I can pass the exams and quizzes and all the studying and all that stuff, if I can get past that, then I can move forward. Um, with what I want to do. So that's kind of mm -hmm. where I'm going to leave He doesn't it. want us telling anyone until he can pass those exams because he doesn't want to, you know, just in case he goes yeah. a different I mean, direction. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the studying is, you know, intense. And, and intense. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot of things that I didn't know about. And so that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So once I get uh, done with the schooling part of it, then I will say what it is yeah so it's been a fun week of you studying yeah. and yep. us trying to get joshua um you know trying to jump through the hoops with him yep. um on that uh the miracle on that was that he was one of a hundred applicants yep. and that looked like a pretty impossible situation as far as monday went and, and by midweek worked out it he had an apartment and yep. we were like oh, or a my tiny gosh. house yeah Yep. And not an apartment. Um, so, yeah, God is good. Yep. And, you know, and now we're just going through all the Christmas stuff, all the traditions. Yep, got the tree up. Got the Yep, we'll have uh, stuff all lined out. the family over for Christmas Eve. Yep. Um, what do you guys do? What are your, some of your traditions for the Christmas holiday? And what are some of your busy things? What are some things that you... Um, love to do and what are some things that you wish you didn't have to do are yeah. there things that you wish you didn't have to do yeah are your in-laws outlaws or do you or enjoy you... getting together with your in-laws <laughs> or just, i mean there's a lot going on you yeah know? sometimes there's obligations that you just have to do that you're, you don't enjoy and then there's um obligations not obligations there's traditions that are really really fun and you kind of sure. look forward to them sure um, one of the obligations, not obligations, one of the traditions that we enjoy doing is um, on Christmas Eve, uh, we do the nativity and my dad reads out of um, one of our old Bibles. Uh, it was like our family, you know, one of those big family Bibles. Mm -hmm. 
and it's a really old big family Bible from like yeah. 1960s or something. Yeah. And uh, he reads out of that, and we do the nativity. And I thought about, I don't know if I can do it, but I thought about um, kind of recording some of that and putting it on the channel. Um, if I can get my family to do camera. <laughs> Uh, we tried to, we, we were, when we decorated the tree, I, I wanted to pull out the camera. And um, I could tell, like, I, it's hard to stick a camera in someone's face and make it natural. And my, you know, my parents, it was an exhausting day for them. Uh, that day they had a lot going on. And my mom just sat down. She goes, I'm so exhausted. And then Josh wasn't really and I thought you know let's just not pull the camera out right now it's not you know how I pictured it um but I have a tendency to picture things things kind of like movies and they don't yeah like ever, a video they don't ever play out like that <laughs> I don't know my family doesn't always uh follow the scripts I give them let's say <laughs> That's funny. I mean you do pretty good at following the scripts nowadays. I have for many years because we're still married, so I follow the script. <laughs> as long as I give you the script ahead of time. This is yeah. what I... Ex okay, so let's talk about that for a minute. You know, there were times when I had an idea in my head, like um, when our daughter uh, was... She had a, a bridal shower. Um, she was getting married. That was her, her first wedding. Um, and... I had this picture of her shower just being this day where I got ready and I was excited about her shower and then I went and enjoyed the day with everyone and it would be the hottest day ever. We were sweating to death. That wasn't in my video, in my head. And then I think you and I got into a fight because, and I was, I don't you don't this. remember that? Mm. And I, after that I realized, Jay doesn't realize what these days mean to me so i need to lay it out okay we're going into an important day and so you this is what i need this day to be <laughs> am i the only one guys you need the day to be uh no stress and smooth and i just need it to no be stress and play smooth. out I like a that. movie i get that but not a yeah. dramatic movie <laughs> no but you've always been that way though uh -huh. You've always wanted things a certain way, uh -huh. uh, as far as it's smooth, one of my smooth and no stress. So I get it. Yeah, I really understand it now, <laughs> for sure. So, what's your favorite holiday tradition? Me? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know if I really have one. <laughs> you may not like traditions. No, I mean, traditions are fine. Or what's um, your favorite thing we do at Christmas? Let's I think Christmas I think Christmas morning getting up and having Christmas breakfast. I think I like to uh -huh. do bacon and the sausage and eggs and hash browns and toast. and I just like to have a nice breakfast. Cinnamon it's rolls really, used to be. Cinnamon roll. Well, that was pre. pre <laughs> yeah, pre-celiacs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I think um, just how it's just nice and relaxing mm -hmm. having breakfast on Christmas morning. I think I think you're right. You know, and mm -hmm. then we just, it's just very chill. I think I like the, the whole chill part about it. Mm-hmm. You know. That so. is nice when we can wake up and wake up slowly and yeah. um, just do, just hang out by the Christmas tree with our coffee. Yep. And... Um, we got to find you a new coffee mug, like you broke your last one. I can't one. believe I broke that Tabasco coffee. I broke In my last Tabasco Saturday, coffee. as you'll see, that Jay broke his favorite Tabasco mug. He it's, has it's the other. It's identical one. But to that, that one's one. chipped. This one's chipped, but this is like my favorite coffee cup. Well, the other one wasn't chipped, so that was my favorite coffee cup. But I, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, I dropped it and it just shattered all over. <clears throat> and it, I mean, beyond gluing it back together. So I was like, oh, I you got to be kidding me. And here's the funny thing. We went to my parents last night uh, to help them decorate their tree in for dinner and found out that my dad has, because we all had gone to um, uh, Louisiana the, and 
picked up the coffee cups and brought them back. So he had one. And he dropped his this week. Same mug. <laughs> yeah, same exact coffee cup. Within a week of each other. We were other. like, what on earth? Everybody's dropping their Tabasco. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't have been the coffee cup you know you absolutely hate. No, it has, it has to, be to be your favorite one. It's like whatever. Well, I have a Farrell's coffee uh, mug right yeah, now. Yeah, now they're no longer in existence. So now that just became a collector's item. So did I any of you her, guys said, ever go it. to Farrell's as a kid? I loved Farrell's when I was a kid. Some or people in when California was, probably did. Yeah, I don't know how far Farrell's were. Mm, just in California. Mm -hmm. uh, that I know of. Mm -hmm. There may have been one And then they tried Oregon to bring them back, and I think that that ended up failing, right? Well, it was going good for a while, and they just, I don't think that they had the right people in in the right spots to uh, handle the, the CFO and the CEO stuff of the company. Mm -hmm. um, and they just kind of, I just think they ran it into the ground, and, yeah. and it went out of existence. And it wasn't the same, I mean, they tried to copy exactly mm -hmm. how it was. But it just, it wasn't, I think, exact. Yeah. It was like when they would run with the zoo ice cream, with the stretcher, with the zoo. Yeah, it ice wasn't cream. the same. They did a little bit of the same, but it wasn't like how it used to be in the 70s and 80s. Um, it was like, it was amazing back in the day. Let's just say that. So I anyway, feel like, that's I, yeah. a collector's item. I feel like the one thing that it did in the new one, so we went to the new one as well a couple times. Right. And I feel like um, the new one, they tried to do what everybody loved, that running of the zoo and the crazy songs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they did it almost too much. Right. And so every table got that experience, but then... It was. It just felt like chaos in there. Mm -hmm. So it was hard to even eat and have a conversation because there was so much going on. Right. Well, that, and back in the day, when we were younger, even um, there was chaos when they would run, go flying by, running with the zoo in the mm -hmm. stretcher, and yeah. set it on the table. But it wasn't like how they tried to copy it. You know. Uh huh. And maybe now. because it was in, um, like the new ones were in smaller. I remember the old Ferrells, it was really a long building. So with yes, lots it was. of little rooms. Yes, it was. And yeah. so, you know, you'd see them walk run past, but you wouldn't always have that at your table constant. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So anyway, it was a fun place. Yeah. It definitely was a fun place. Well, how's that for randomness on yeah, a Sunday morning? Let's go down that bunny trail. <laughs> oh boy. Random thoughts. So this week... Of a busy mind. This week, coming up. <laughs> this week, coming up. Uh, tomorrow, my mom, um, my sister, and my daughter, um, all from around the country, we are going to be on Zoom uh, to bake cookies. So that's how we bake cookies nowadays together. Yeah. Is my daughter's in Alabama, my sister's in Washington, um, and... Uh, we're of course, and my parent, my mom is in Idaho, and mm -hmm. um, we get onto Zoom, and we all are in our kitchens. My sister has her two little boys, and um, they're frosting cookies and all of that. And we'll do that for a couple hours and just bake. And then um, the other thing that I'm going to do this week is um, my mother-in-law is in California. Of course, my daughter's in Alabama. And we do this thing every year where we put all put in the same movie and we do White Christmas. Well, that's right. And yep. so we'll put it on and my daughter will, on our text, we'll count down 10, 9, 8, okay, hit play. And we hit play all at the same exact time. And then okay. um, we watch it and we do kind of a commentary while we're watching it. So we, get our, watching, yeah, we yeah. get our cocoa or our... You know, we sit down and cuddle up, and through the whole movie, uh, we send each other texts and kind of screenshots. We'll we'll take a picture. Like, did you just see that dance move? Did you see her dress? What she was wearing? Oh, I love this song. It's kind um, of a tradition with them. Yeah, uh, with what they do. Since we can't, so. you know, those are creative ways that we can be together, but not together. And it's hard mm -hmm. nowadays. Um, you know, COVID made it hard 
for families that were even slightly close. But it didn't affect our family too much because our family was already spread across. I've got a sister in Louisiana, uh, um, a brother in California, another sister in Washington, uh, Jay's mom's in California, Cynthia's in Alabama, our son is in Colorado. So it's always been that kind of COVID type situation anyway. We're so far yeah. apart. Yeah. So actually COVID helped us because now we have Zoom where we didn't know about Zoom before. And now technology with texting. And we're, mm -hmm. we're part of also a texting group um, with Jay's family. With just everybody. Yeah, and it has my kids on it and his mom yeah. and his aunt in Indiana. And every morning, everybody says, good morning, good morning, good morning, you know, as they wake up. And then they kind of put little things on what they're doing during the day. The kids, um, we have our son in Colorado. He actually is a truck driver. So he, you never know where he's at, but he sends little snapshots of everywhere he's at. And, you know, when he broke down and he sends pictures of that and um, when he got through the storms this last week um, he sent pictures of that and our daughter has a bird that she actually got from your mom uh, mm -hmm. when your mom had her heart attack and she brought it to Alabama his name is Pickle Bird and you can find him actually on Instagram Pickle <laughs> Pickle Burb yeah. yeah and uh, Pickle A Burb or something like that no, it's Pickle Burb it's P-I-C-K-L-E-B-U-R-B. -E yeah. And so she uh, gets, sends us constant videos of funny videos of him. Oh, he's he's yeah. quite the interesting cockatiel. Yeah. And oh, our son man. here. He, so. he can whistle the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> and he does all kinds of, he says, what you doing? Yeah. Like repeats it like a parrot. So he's our family has bird. just always been kind of not close to each other but so we keep in touch these um these ways these new technologies have mm -hmm. really kind of improved that we can say good morning and good night to our kids yeah every day and to your mom and and see what they're up to yeah mm -hmm. for sure stay in touch yeah you're a man of many words today <laughs> Because I'm talking so much. Well, you're just filling them in on everything. Why do, why do I have to jump in, right? If you're telling them everything. So, sometimes I get tired of hearing my own voice. <laughs> you can talk. I'm sorry. But it's pretty exciting. A lot. There was just a lot to say today. Yeah, just the thing I was asking you is what about this week? And then you took off on a different direction. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's where we were. Yeah, but you took us down a money trail, but that's okay. Um, I feel this, like this week, this coming week is there's going to be a lot of me studying. Um, Krista's gearing up for more alterations on wedding gowns. Um, that's going to get real busy for her come January. Yep, got my and sewing moving, machine out of the shop. Yep, we got that. Um, she got a new accessory for her machine, so it's going to make it a lot easier for her to sew mm -hmm. on the gowns. Got it. Um, yeah. I felt that. I'm like, what on earth? It's probably from Duchess. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's what next week is going to consist of, is just me in there and you in there, mm -hmm. you know, not till January 1st, but yeah, um, definitely uh, it's going to be a busy week, I think. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, yeah. But we may not get any videos this week. We're not sure because of all the different Zoom cookie baking and just everything going and on. And with you know having to watch the movie and then do Christmas Eve dinner, so every day has something. Yeah. Um, but right after Christmas, we'll get back in gear. Yeah. Um, and start getting back to our book chapters. Start getting our because I don't know the new year is kind of like a fresh way to start working on relationships. Working sure. on your finances. Well, you got people. You got people that are getting engaged. You know, around Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. You know, and they're you know, they're gonna want to make make their relationship work. Mm -hmm. You know, so hopefully they'll find us on yeah. on uh, the YouTube channel, and hopefully they'll subscribe and you know, and uh, follow along and watch the videos we've already posted, and uh, you know, 
and watch future videos. So mm -hmm. the book one is going to be good. We'll skip the not so fun chapter, the more personal chapter, mm -hmm. and we'll go to the next chapter, um, and then we'll talk about that chapter, mm -hmm. which yeah. will be good. So we're off to a busy Sunday. We have yep. to clean the house and get ready for our Bible study group, which yep. is uh, on our third chapter of Ruth. Yep. That's been a really good book, and yeah. um, we're going to be doing that today, and then off to a crazy Christmas week, and we want to yep. wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. We yeah, hope Merry that Christmas. you, your family's just covered in love, and that even if you can't be with the ones you love, that somehow it, with technology you're able to do that. Um, and we just all wish you a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And then we'll see you after probably Christmas, I'm yep. thinking. Yep, I think that's the direction we're going to go because this yeah. week is going to be busy. Yeah. Obviously, you guys know. You guys are probably going to be busy too. So, you know, mm -hmm. we'll uh, see you on the flip side. Yeah, we love you guys so much. <laughs> we'll see you. See ya. <laughs>